Hey guys, welcome to episode number 315. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and today I wanted to share with you a new idea that I've come up with in order to make sure that my automatic water change system, which you can see right here, doesn't overflow during a power outage uh, at my home. Uh, in past videos, you may have seen this solenoid setup that I have used, and that worked for a few months, but essentially what happened was because these were constantly powered, they heated up and they eventually failed on their own. So the concept was good. While there's power running, water can flow through them, um, and while power is off, they're closed and water cannot flow through them. But in practice, what happened was these solenoids heated up and they failed and the water shut off on its own. Uh, or they can also stick open and uh, it, it fails open and then it also doesn't work. So we needed to find an alternate solution and what I've come up with is something completely new and uh, it's kind of a prototype at the moment. What you're looking at right here is called the Power Full Board. F-U-L-L, -L, powerful, and uh, it's kind of one of a kind at the moment, designed specifically uh, for this purpose by my brother, and uh, it has three parts. You can see the board itself here. You can see a uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery here, and then you can see a uh, motor valve. Uh, essentially, you have a uh, electric motor, and a valve and when it gets power it can uh, open or close that valve depending on uh, which direction that's flowing and as you can see I have my water line going in one end and out the other end and right now it's on and that's because I have a 12 volt adapter plugged into it so up here it's receiving 12 volts into the powerful board it's also receiving power from um, our rechargeable battery as well and at the same time um, the wall power is trickle charging this battery so essentially what this board does with the help of an AT tiny and a very lightweight program is it checks to see if it's getting 12 volts of power from the wall and if it is uh, it leaves this motor controller open okay so water can flow as normal in the case of a power outage what will happen is all of a sudden it won't get 12 volts from here and the only source of power it gets is the 9 volts from the battery and then it tells this motor to shut using the power that is remaining in this battery and this motor only has to turn on for about five seconds to shut that valve and then it's off. So with the solenoid it's always on but with this it's basically always off. It's not moving, it's not using energy except for the five seconds that it takes to open and close this valve. So here you can hear um, my sump pump activating because it reached um, its high point and in the case of a power outage this sump pump would not activate with this float valve and this water would continue to drip. But thanks to the powerful board here, what happens is if I unplug this and simulate a power outage, you can hear for that five seconds we had uh, the motor turning and turning this valve into the closed position. So if we go down here and check now, we can see that our drip has turned off and that's a good thing. That means that if the power was out right now, um, this system would not overflow uh, on its own and uh, that gives me a real peace of mind. And essentially what we're talking about here is a system that is pretty much foolproof. Um, the AT Tiny is still running and it's running off of the power that's coming from this battery but even if this battery dies and the AT Tiny shuts off um, 
nothing wrong will happen because this valve is already closed. So essentially, when the power turns back on, whether or not this battery still has power in it, what will happen is the program will boot back up. And you can hear that noise. This valve opened back up because when the, when the uh, powerful board boots back up, uh, it looks to see what power it's getting. And if it gets the 12 volts from the wall, which it would when the power is on, it says, okay, let's open this valve. And so if we go back down here and look, now we have our water running once again. And the reason I like this is because it's not putting any stress on the hardware itself here. And this valve won't need to open or close very often at all. And uh, essentially the only thing we have to be careful of is that uh, this battery doesn't die. Um, now this battery should last quite a long time. It's a rechargeable battery. It's getting a very, very, very small trickle charge while we have our 12 volts of power in. And so that should last for many, many months uh, without any issue. And if I wanted to test that every once in a while, all I would have to do is plug or unplug that power there. So that's the solution I have going on. Again, this is a prototype. This board is not available for sale. It's kind of a one of a kind at the moment, but what it's doing is a job that is fairly important down here in the fish room. And I hope you guys enjoyed me walking through this with you. And if you're looking for something similar to this, definitely let me know. I'm trying to gauge the level of interest in something like this. I haven't really seen anything operate quite like this out there. There may be products out there. Let me know if you know of anything. But if you enjoyed this, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.